Hello there, everybody. Welcome back. I am Pokemon. We're still fighting our uh, our good friend, Mr. Low. He's trying to cast some magic at me, but I'm not having any of that. Dead Emperor Sword. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Oh, ow! Ow! Let's, 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 let's heal. Can I get two of you at a time? Mm. Oh, I know. This is the perfect time for this. Nirvanity. Buddy. I mean, that's that's what we've got Nirvana T for. Carrying all status elements and hit points. Go. Alright, well now I need to do this. Because if I don't, I might not get a chance to unleash their attack. And I want to get off these special moves. Because even if I lose all my CP when they die. You know what? I'll try that. I might be able to kill the robots. And if I kill the robots, I might be able to get everyone else healed up. Or at least try to. So I'm gonna give it a go. It worked. Goodbye, robot. You ready for this? Are you ready? I'm not sure if you are ready. Would you change your attack if they weren't ready? Ah well. I was kind of hoping for a little more out of Agate for him, but. Yeah, all right. Um, uh, there we are. Let's, yes, let's heal up Joshua. Sacrifice yourself, Olivia, for the man you love. So you think about that. Apparently he's magic. Okay. Yeah, let, let's just cancel out his spell casting. Ha-ha! Victory. Mm. Mm. Da -da -da. Yes, good. Good. Because now you, you can heal yourself. Mm, sweet healing items. All right, low. It's just you, me, and some dead corpses of yours. How do you feel about that? Yeah, he doesn't seem that happy. Uh, let's keep keep her healed up. Cause that is a damaging special move. I will give him that. He's got a he's got a good sword swing. Swing. Blech. But it's not gonna be good enough. Oh yes, he's getting low. <laughs> Hundred damage, eh? Every point helps. Oh, so close to death. Just a little bit more. Just a little more.
What's he at? I'm gonna risk it. Just hitting him in the face. Yes! Yeah, we kicked your ass, buddy. Ooh. Yeah, pretty good. Not quite a level up, though, for anybody. Another gladiator belt. We did it! Hell yeah, check that! Da victory worthy of song and history! You've done well, but not well enough to match my power. Pep, how in the. Ultimately, Brace exists simply to protect people. Only those who attain enlightenment can hope to match one such as myself. The trial is over, now comes the execution. Yeah! In that gives love. I have to challenge you one on one. Oh? Joshua, are you kidding me? It's alright, Estelle. Let me be strong, but that last fight still had an effect on him. Trust me, I can do this. Uh, okay, I trust you. Honestly, I've got some business to sell this idiot too, but. Ah, screw it. I guess I can trust you to handle this one. Just don't lose them, you got it. Don't worry, I won't. Hmm. Interesting. Should have lost a little bit of my edge. I'm a little slower, in particular. You can walk away from this fight as the victor. But I'm one of those odds if I were you. Maybe not, but still. This soul of mine, which was saved by a sister, bound by a professor, freed by a father, and is out one of the stells. Of nerd is a bracer. And the power given to me by a Roboros. With all of it together, I challenge you, Blade Lord. Very well. Come then, Blackfang. Mm, not bad. Ooh. I can't help but wonder if we could have ever seen Cassius going all out with a sword, even. Well, you have improved. Let's see if you can keep it up. Uh, you know, you know, no. I expect Olivia to make those kinds of comments, not you. Again. Ooh, come on, Joshua. There's two of him! There's only one of you! Well, I guess there was five of you at one point, but... Ugh. What are you doing, Joshua? Fathom this. Why don't you use your speed to try and best me? Uh, so I'm not ask you, though. Why? Why do you decide with Wiseman, even after all this? It's before it wasn't about revenge for Karen. You want to bring the world to trial. What does that even mean? Hmm. It's nothing you need to concern yourself with. I simply wish to see if humanity could answer for its failings. Answer for its failings, I still don't follow. May I use the plaything of forces greater than individual men? Pass of time, the changing of deals of nations, gradual shifts in values and ethics. They are helpless before these, and once the storms blow a man, they are knocked into the cracks and lost, unable to free themselves. Hamel is but one example. Mm. Ironically, this great city is exactly the same. Against a paradise, people were living full, fulfilled, satisfied lives in the clouds. At the same time, as a great collapse, or as a part of it, abandoned this paradise and fell to earth. So it was sealed away, and people forgot it even existed. Almost as if they sought to forget an inconvenient truth, as they sought to deceive themselves. <laughs> the truth is ever easily suppressed, and people have to accept anything they wish to be true in this place. That is mankind's weakness, that is their sin. Glorious, overwhelming power force people to face their unabated truth. How helpless they are without the backing of nations. How vulnerable they become once you strip them of all their luxuries. All they've locked away and their delusion will be dragged before their eyes right exposed and they will witness. Locked away in their delusions, huh? So, forcing people to confront that is your goal. It is. We well, continue to delude ourselves to believe our world is always just and good. Mankind will repeat its mistakes forever. 
more tragedies like Camel will happen. A second time, a third, who knows how many. Something more like Karen will bleed their lives on the arms of those they care for. And why I obey Orbus? That's why. And I have no regrets of what I've become in pursuit of that goal. Let's see. I think you're the delusional one, though. What? We press myself, so what you've said hits home. There's some truth to it. We all have the potential to cover the hard times or face our weakness. People aren't helpless. Not completely. When Karen saved me ten years ago, she was strong then, and that made all the difference. There's no way you'd never realize uh, <coughs> There's no way you'd ever realize that. How important Karen was to you. How important you were to her. You're turning yourself low and you know it. No. Karen was special! Karen was. She was the only one who could ever have made a difference. Now that I actually speak for your mind, they must still be tested! Must face their delusions. Must see if they are worthy of Karen's sacrifice. In that case, I should be all the proof you need. I, who can lie, who lived on through my sister's sacrifice. I, who found my way once my mind is still. I, who need to come here to meet you again with her help. People are never powerless as long as they are together. Ugh. Stabby stab! Ooh. <laughs> you what? Wow! I didn't think so. <laughs> Would you look at that? Thank <sighs> you. For all you had into a single opening you forced out of me. Ha, oh, you little fool. <laughs> Not good enough. Ha. Huh. The Blade Lord dropped his sword. Doesn't get much more final than that. Uh, though, to be fair, he only bested you because he got psychological. I mean, in, a true t in an actual test of pure sword play, yeah, you had the edge. I suppose, though, in the end, all is fair in love and war. All I can do is admit defeat. Defeat I. You did it! That was absolutely amazing, Joshua. You actually beat low. You knocked away his sword. You didn't hurt him. I would have had the slightest type of victory if I was fighting to kill. There's always a better way. That's what it means to be a bracer, right? That's what Dad taught us. Yeah. <laughs> oh, of course. You know that techniques of wiseness placing all filtered through the wisdom of the divine blade. Huh. What hope did I even have? Low. Hmm. I joined the robots because I wanted to test humanity. If I answered that, I suppose I've run a reason to keep working with them. Instead, I've found a new line of employment. Maybe I'll be a barber. I think I have what it takes to cut hair. To make people truly look fabulous. Ah, well. Uh, yeah, sure. You're back! Thank you. Adios, you're back. Lo's back. It's over. It's over. Okay. I always thought about you, even after the brights took me in. Your voice, your face, that you were important to me, but not who you were. And I finally remembered only to learn that you're my enemy. I just didn't know what to think. Wow, this is incredibly surprising for Joshua. I didn't I did not expect a hug from him. <laughs> I see. Aww. Aww. Well for crying out. They're how old he tries to act. He's still just a kid in the family home. Uh, you think so? How could my embers eyed the bow dare to be smothered in the affection of another man? Why, the very thought alone consumes my heart with the green flames of jealousy. If nothing else, you are totally bringing the moment. No! He's making the moment better, Estelle. Oh, sorry, everyone. I guess I kind of lost it there. I forgot it was supposed to be aloof and cool. Nothing settled yet, but still. You big dummy. You do apologize, okay? Finally made up, right? Go on, spend some time with Lo. Er, spend, yeah. Blushing? What kind of relationship do those two have? Hmm. Hmm. Haha. <laughs> so bright, I owe you a debt I don't think I can ever repay. Uh huh. Both Renee and Josh were here, done all sorts of things that never could, yet made it look so trivial. Got so many other people to this point, truly are one of a kind still. Now, if you're making fun of me, we can totally throw you down again. 
Just saying. I got it, Krasner. The blade shack the conviction force now, rather than empty rage. Don't you find your reason for fighting now, I assume? <sighs> yeah, I guess. Wait, what are you gonna sound all self-righteous like that? You're like an old man at this point. Huh. I'm honored to be I'm honored to be compared to the Vine Blade. And yeah, Prince Oliver. This is not a bit careless to leave behind your Vanda escort. Your life does not belong to just you after all. But it is a matter of priorities, kinsmen. For all the sales both the ace up our sleeve and our lifeline. But I'm defending it protects my own person as well. Hmm. A very uncommon wisdom and courage for nobility. Rather well, seems like such a waste of your talents. Ah, in this we are agreed. Well, yeah, well, why are you up here? Your ground isn't the Oriole, is it? No, that's just some guard cast equipment. We get great reception. Sends the Rex is powerful in the core sector out across the city. What now? This core sector is where the Oriole is, I'm guessing. Yeah. Paul functioning the axe pillar is essential as an antenna broadcast the Orioles power to the rest of the city. Rain seems mostly a thousand seg. If the gospels the could affect things just not just to what we call liberal now. But across a good deal of economy. The more I hear, the crazier it gets. For us up the shutdown for now, we have to get down to the core sector and do something about the Oriole. Will be the only way. But doing something with the Oriole may prove difficult. An artifact of some sort, but it's Sends you in some way and mostly moves for one of threatening elements. That Celeste also has managed to seal it away in the first place is impressive in and of itself. For the Ori, you have to deal with Wiseman. Oh, crud. It's a fight we can't put off any longer. With your help, though, not even Wiseman could stop us. You <laughs> brat. Assuming I'll help you out of the blue like that, and why would I possibly want to help you out, huh? <laughs> you asshole. Oh, I'm sure this is, of course, Wiseman, so, if I recall his voice, <clears throat> my, my, this is a touching reunion. May I just say, however, that I do ever so slightly fear the implications for my own well-being. What a surprise! Bam! Oh no! Hello. Mm, good evening, everyone. <laughs> mm. I would say you've done a splendid job overcoming my tr little trials and reaching the pinnacle. But all these little rule violations, tisk tisk, so unsporting. Rule violations? What are you talking about? But everyone of your diamond force is fair and square. And, and Josh will be low, one on one! We wouldn't be fair about this, so we should have been. I see that you've yet to grasp the full extent of the plan. All servants of a robust refuse power from the Grand Master in some way or form. And if you have a few members of a robust assisting you, that hardly seems a fairer informative experience, now does it? Here, yeah. experiment? I've been a fool. This coming here was all part of your plan all along, wasn't it? <laughs> I'll admit to adding many of my own personal touches to the plan. But yes, about half of it did consist of you making your way here. Of course! The gospel plan concerns more than the Oriole alone. <coughs> well, we're going to get to, the, to his actual plan next time. Oh, Wiseman, you're just so evil. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you all soon.